Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be a ladder match to fill in for Fighting Spirit Mania stuff. I believe it was played somewhere around September. We got, uh, I have a feeling a lot of these actually, a lot of these might end up getting casted as well out on uh, Saiyan and Artosis's channel potentially, mostly because we're all grabbing the replays from Seawall. If there's a particular player you want to see from Seawall, let me know. If there's like a particular pro, I don't know that all the pros are playing on the ladder there. Apparently a lot of the Zerg players uh, for whatever reason, are not playing. Maybe that has something to do with trying to hide build orders from from uh, SSL potential play and trying to keep it out of the hands of Terran uh, players like Light. Who uh, I don't know. It feels like a lot of the Terran players in the Korean scene are picking Zerg apart uh, in particular. But anyway, upper left hand corner we got Zalt starting as the white Zerg. Bottom right hand corner we got Speed starting as the orange Terran. This is on Dominator, which is the rebuild of Gladiator. Uh, of course, where the, I feel like the biggest adjustment is, is they really kind of narrowed down the, um, you still have this weird wedge to work with, but they kind of narrowed down where, uh, and put more flat ground central it doesn't go ahead and span in the middle and you still have a lot of resources across all the exterior. Although I'm, it's kind of one of those weird things where because the map is so sizable and because, uh, it's so wide and spread out in the middle, I, I feel like holding territory is... I don't know. We'll see how holding territory goes. If you guys have not caught speed, by the way, I'm not sure. Uh, I won't give any spoilers out to SSL. I've done a couple casts of his on Starcast TV, um, and he. A lot of people are saying he's the next big thing. Um, he had some pretty good matches, I will say. Hopefully, that's not a spoiler. I won't say whether he won or lost. I'll do it that way. He had good matches. Um, what I do want to say is that it's kind of an odd thing where. I feel like for whatever reason, I, whenever I see speed in a match against his opponents, maybe because he's just playing off tempo, hence the name, by the way, looks like he's going to open up potentially with a 1 1 1 here, uh, going gas first or some sort of mech play. He's dropped that refinery very, very early. In the meantime, we've got a 12 hatch standard gas for two hatch, from the, like a 203 gas right there. So pretty rapid gas uh, from Zealot. I'm not sure. I didn't catch the drone count that was plopped on, but might have even been a little bit early. Uh, might be anticipation of knowing that speed something we've seen speed toss out is his really really strong micro with two port wraith we'll see if he ends up opting for that or if he's just going to go standard uh 111 here but for whatever reason <clears throat> i don't know if it's off tempo play if it's really good vulture micro if it's something along those lines i feel like players even of the pro caliber don't play to their full capacity against speed they're just kind of thrown off um in a similar way to i don't know there his other alt name was like 10 minute flash and I'm wondering if it's it's something along those lines where he's just playing at a capacity where other players are just thrown off by his level of play or thrown off by the tempo or something along those lines. Drone able to confirm a single Marine, but also seeing the barracks not flashing in the space of this. And you can see because of that, maybe that off tempo play uh, that speed is capable of doing. Zealot making sure he gets an early scout off the bat. Drone taking a little bit of damage from this SCV is going to have to pull off the line and cycle back. But in the meantime, we do have, so we got the factory up. We'll see if it's going to be a single vulture, or if it's just going to be straight to port Wraith. I do see two SCVs in position, which leads me to believe, yeah, there's that double star port. <clears throat> SCVs taking a considerable amount of damage is able to see the layer timing. We got that about halfway, but we'll see if sell uh, makes his way back towards Hydralis play. That tends to be what people, uh, what Zerg players like to do against two port Wraith for reasons that I, I'm going to admit I don't fully understand. Um, rather than just trying to battle it out with Milosks and Overlords, could just be Overlord positioning is difficult, um, especially without the, the vision upgrade. We have a Sunken Colony being built, so it looks like Zealot did have a sense that this was in fact going to be factory play. I'm always amazed by I mean, it could have just been that second of the barracks not building, but I'm always amazed by their ability to sense this sort of thing. Zerglings making the way they cross, they see that vulture on trail. Uh, trying to get a little bit of damage on it. It's at least going to occupy time. Uh, so, and a second Vulture is going to be built in the space of this, but we got the two-port Wraith uh, being built. We do have that Spire about a third finished. And I think we'll have to see. So second gas getting dropped. I do believe the Wraith are going to be out well before the Mutalisks are in flight. So there is going to be a period of time. Ooh, drone's actually having to pull off the line to defend this. And ooh, that... So this... Vulture is pinned to the back, but he is managing to get at least two drone kills right there. I'm not sure if that was fully worth it. Um, actually, I'm going to say it's worth it just because, and it looks like there's going to be another build, another hatchery dropped just to go ahead and blockade that out there from Zealot. But I'll be curious how many overlords get taken out before 
the uh, Mulisks take flight is kind of the secondary thing because the one thing about two port wraith is this happens is where you just end up with the wraith out very very rapidly to where they can get overlord kills even with and that was even with that the very rapid um, gas right there so I'm not sure the zealot was anticipating uh, the wraith play and it looks like yeah several drones gonna get wiped out as well some additional overlords being constructed but this is firmly looking like it's in speed control because this is gonna be a lot of larva loss interestingly enough going after the mineral larva rather than the gas larva maybe because the difficulty of um, some hit and getting some additional overlords wiped out spire is finished we get we're gonna have at least a mutalisk in the air uh okay looks like we got some additional mutalisk building alongside this is before cloak by the way that overlord has a little bit of health is gonna survive but this is kind of the this is kind of the stage of things where i look for kind of a shift in the midst of everything, by the way, Scourge managing ooh, not nice split micro there by speed to keep that second alive is, is now I worry about the follow up because Zealot has taken a beating. He's lost a lot of drones, but now you uh, and there's cloak potentially this overlord has to get taken out immediately. But overlord speeds now queued up. And this is an opportunity for Zealot to to really cycle things back. He's moving in looks like even just with these funulas. And this is where Wraith are just kind of paper thin. We got turrets trying to build on the ground. That turret is going to, in fact, finish. So these mules are going to pull back. Cloak, I believe, is upgraded. Okay, it looks like they're finally Cloak kicking in. The mules are going to have to retreat and split up. But this is kind of where I'm very impressed by Speed's play with the Wraith. Maybe this is why you go Hydrals down instead here. A lot of Overlords now out in the field. The Mutalisks have not trailed back, so he's going to take additional losses. And once again, Zealot going to be in the red. Did he get, he got some Scourge out, but not a lot else. I guess this shows you. I was always wondering, oh man, every single Overlord getting wiped out. I was kind of wondering in the space of the meta, why, why don't Zerg players stick with the the hatchery play and this is or sorry with the mutilus play and this is displaying it right here just only a single overlord left that's the only unit that can provide any form of vision right this second and you can see where this is where speed excels he just abuses those mutilisks along the corner so if you were wondering this is why you need to go uh this is why you need to go ahead and he's going to go ahead and clean it up for fun at the end of this this is why you go hydralis then at the end of all this, uh, just because if you have a player of speed's caliber skill with that Wraith, they can just abuse the game top to bottom and just close it out. Very impressive play from speed. Showing where two port Wraith can just be so devastating. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.